Hi everyone, today we're going to look at how to display your Bitmoji Classroom or your daily agenda into Microsoft Teams for your students to see and interact with. This is actually a follow-up video um, of a video that I created and uh, published on Loom. Uh, you can check out the link down below. I'm creating this follow-up because I created a tool that allows you to very easily convert your presentation so that it displays in a presentation view with the hyperlinks active and more uh, for your team. So I want to show you how to use that tool specifically and review some of the things. But for more detail about how to edit your Bitmoji Classroom and to use this template that I'm providing you also in the comments section down below, uh, visit my Loom, original Loom video and it will have a little bit more detail than this video. All right, so um, let's say you have, uh, you know, this daily agenda template, or you know, you can add your Bitmojis and 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 take this and, uh, you know, have whatever your Bitmoji classroom looks like, and you want to display it in Microsoft Teams. So in order to do that, what you first need to do is you're going to go over and you need to grab the share URL for your PowerPoint slide, and so this share URL. Uh, once you click share in the top right, uh, and you don't want to allow for editing, and you notice it will allow you to share um, with anyone with this link can view this presentation. So uh, you can go ahead and you can copy this link. Now, in order for it to do this, in order to share this, this has to be this presentation has to be saved onto your OneDrive account. Um, so you need to make sure that the PowerPoint saved on there first. It will actually prompt you to save it to OneDrive if you didn't already. So once you get this URL, you can go over to my tool, which is on um, in the in the comments section down below in the description. You can you can get a link to that. And um, it once you go visit my website, I actually do walk you through this process that I'm showing you today. But essentially, you take that share URL and you're going to paste that here and you can convert this presentation and it's going to spit out a url with some changes for you um specifically it adds this ampersand amp equals ampersand action equals embed view to the url now the reason why i created this tool is after my original video i noticed some people were having a hard time getting this to work exactly right so i've created this tool that automatically does it for you and so if I say preview presentation and click on this, it opens up that presentation. Now, don't worry, it, it will do this for you because I'm logged into my account. So it, it will still look at it this way. If you take this URL, though, and I copy it, and I'm going to go over to Teams now, I'm going to create a tab for this. So I go over to Teams, I'm in a team, I click on add a tab. website and you then you want to use the website app to add a tab here some people also reported that they didn't see the website tab and that was because their IT admin didn't have it enabled so you're gonna to need to if you don't see the website option when you click this plus sign here you're gonna to want to contact your IT admin to add that as an option and then for now I'm just gonna call this uh, PowerPoint desktop because I'm gonna show you a couple different options you paste your URL there that you got over from my tool, and we're not going to post this to the channel. I hit save, and you'll notice that even though that it opened up, that's that you know showed me the whole presentation. When I embed it in a tab here for a different user to view, it does just show it in this presentation mode. Now, I use my OneDrive personal account, and when you do that, you're going to have this option to be able to download it for someone else to save it, the OneDrive, etc. The other options that you have is um, to use PowerPoint online. So if you go to OneDrive.live.com, your personal OneDrive, you can click share, and you can get that URL in the very same way. And it works exactly the same. Now, the other thing is, though, that was using my personal account. And 
this work this way works the easiest because anyone with this link can view this so um anytime that a student or somebody navigates this tab it will open up and it will always display now if you're using your school account so this is this is the same template now in a school account um, and you go to click share you're going to notice you may not have the anyone with a link option like my school for instance you may also have a time limit in which you can share with anyone with a link so this isn't really ideal to use when you're using your school account and saving it on um, essentially your OneDrive business account or the OneDrive account attached to your school account instead of using the share URL what you want to do is the default share setting is that anyone in your organization that has the URL to this can actually view it so if you just copy the URL in your address bar so you go up to the top of your address bar you copy that URL instead and you go over to my tool okay and you paste that URL so I've designed this to work with both types of URLs and you convert that presentation this will also display in only a presentation view so I click the preview button and this actually will work I'm logged in so I can see this you have to be logged into your organization account students when they access your team will automatically be logged into an organization account so it will work this way doesn't work the cleanest all the time but it eventually will work sometimes you have to refresh the page etc but it will log them in and it will work so if I go over to my team now let's add this tab and then I'm going to show you an actual student account so I have a demo student and show you that it works there I'm going to say website again this time I'm going to I'm going to call this SharePoint um, PowerPoint okay I'm going to paste that URL we just got after converting I'm going to click Save notice it did show a weird thing at first all I did was click refresh it refreshed here for whatever reason it's not showing it as as a proper in a in the just the presentation view I'm gonna ignore that for now because sometimes it works perfectly right away this should work fine other times it doesn't actually you know what I think I did I did not copy the URL so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this again so it still had the original URL all right now now I actually have this this new URL here sorry about that uh, I'm going to go over and I'm going to edit this now this is the proper URL notice it displays here all right so make sure you copy that and you don't do the same mistake that I did um, so you want to copy the one that it converts over notice it displays here now if I go over I'm going to grab a student account so I have this demo student right here logged in I go over and you may see this your students may see this if they click on and they 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 click sign in it should sign in with with the SharePoint account and now after uh, waiting a little while for it to activate continue to refresh and notice I'm in the student account it's working um, and I have a little message there so uh, this will work for using hyperlinks to and things like that so let me go back over to the uh, teacher one here and let's you know let's uh, I'm gonna put a link to my web app now in here whatever you need to add uh, your students will be able to have that so it goes through it saves I can navigate right back over to the student account one give this page a refresh it's again using the SharePoint URL this link is live and clickable some of the things I want to note that we've discovered messing around with this is that um, with PowerPoint online um, you cannot link images so for instance you know let's say I wanted to you know make this picture okay I wanted to make this picture link to something when I click on it so a lot of the bitmoji classrooms people do that or you have little books on your shelf it links to different websites whatever it may be um, in PowerPoint online there's no way the link is blocked out when you click on an image 
However, if you do use the desktop application, you can link. Um, so if I click on this, I can link um, images. So that's something to note that if you only have access to PowerPoint online, you can't you can't link images to web pages or slides and stuff like that. Another question that I've gotten a couple times also is um, if you don't want certain slides to be visible to your students, what can you do? And uh, you can just right click on a slide and you can say hide slide. And if you do that, it's going to hide that slide so that when the student views the actual presentation view, that slide will not display. So let's say um, you only want them to see one slide. You don't want them to see the other slides. Or maybe you're hyperlinking to the other slides, but you don't want them to use this bottom navigation to move back and forth. Um, then you can hide those slides, and you'll still be able to link hyperlink to the slides, um, but students won't be able to navigate using these arrows at the bottom. A couple of people have asked if you can get rid of these arrows, and, and I don't know the way if it does exist, but I, I don't believe you can do that. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to add to um, you know what I've already shared with the, the Loom video. So you can go down to the description and find that Loom video. I go over a little more detail of editing this template. Um, I do have the template down in the description there, so you can check that out. Um, I have a link to my converter tool, so you can check that out also. And if you have any other ideas of things you'd like um, me to cover or some you know information you need from me, Put a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can check out more videos from me in the future. Thank you.